What's up everybody, this is Gray here, and today we're looking at bugs that are beneficial to the garden. You have your predatory insects, you have your pollinators, and the list goes on. Today we're going to focus on the ladybug. Um, ladybugs are always a sign of good luck, right? So why not have them in your garden? One benefit to having ladybugs in your garden uh, is they are they love to consume aphids. Have you guys ever had any aphid issues in your garden? Aphids seem to be like that pest that's really hard to see unless you're really looking for it just because of the size that they are. And, uh, you know, ladybugs like to gorge on these things. Uh, matter of fact, ladybugs can eat 50 to 100 aphids per day uh, per ladybug. Uh, isn't that kind of crazy? And they'll eat thousands over their lifetime. So, of course, wouldn't you want ladybugs in your garden? Well, today, what we're going to do is we're going to release 300 ladybugs. Uh, I wanted to try this out and see where it goes. We've had a couple aphid issues. Uh, we've used some other stuff for them. But, you know, I figure why not bring something new to the garden and see how these ladybugs do. Now, of course, if you end up buying ladybugs online and stuff like that, you want to make sure that you follow directions. You want to make sure that what type of ladybug it is. So you want to go a little bit deeper outside of just saying, yeah, click that and buy it here. Um, some are more reputable than others. Like when I was looking into the praying mantis kind of issue, uh, there was a, a lot of folks that said uh, not to buy these because they're an invasive species. Um, other words, there's other ways to attract ladybugs in your garden, of course. Um, but for the purpose of this video, I decided to grab some ladybugs so that I have some to work with. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wet down, put some water down by the base of the stem. You also want to make sure it's cool out. And here in Florida, it's always hot and humid. So I'm going towards the late afternoon, which it is, like I said, 6 o'clock, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time right now. And uh, it's kind of cool out. I've wet the bottom of the stems because when you release them, they want to have some sort of water. Uh, and of course, they're going to be crawling up your stems and they're going to be hunting aphids. Another benefit to them is they also will eat uh, any other soft-bodied insects. Uh, ladybugs seem to consume a lot of different soft-bodied insects, uh, the ones that are non-beneficial to your garden. And that's why I wanted to try this experiment today, kind of let them run. And of course, we'll do a follow-up on this as well. Um, because as you know, aphids, aphids, they love to eat that green soft tissue, your leaves. They get all into some other parts of your plants. Like over here, my cucumbers, they were like right in the little crevices of the cucumber uh, areas where the flowers and stuff were developing. Uh, and they can be very harmful. They can also uh, create uh, viruses in your plants as well uh, from my research. So that being said, let's take a close look at some of these ladybugs uh, that we're going to release today in the garden. Um, I'm probably going to just release some and maybe put some relaxing music behind it, kind of like a nice chill day, you know what I mean, in the garden and uh, hopefully you enjoy. And then we'll come back to me and uh, I will ask a couple of questions and then we'll end this video. All right. So I'll be back in just a second with the 300, as I call it, 300 ladybugs that we're releasing today, the army of ladybugs in Gray's garden. All right. We'll see you in a bit. All right, folks, so as you can see there, we've released several ladybugs uh, into the garden where this tomato plant is, and they're going to find their way all around the garden and uh, see what they can do to uh, eat the aphids and other soft-bodied animals inside uh, the garden.
All right, folks. So that's going to kind of wrap up the video. And uh, I really enjoyed uh, letting the ladybugs kind of take over the garden and do what they do best uh, and uh, be that beneficial bug in your garden. And again, you know, like I said, there's bees uh, and there's other bugs like praying mantis if they're native to your area and several other bugs that you should look into that might be beneficial to you and having these in your garden. Now, that being said, uh, you know, I wish uh, little Miss Gray would have wanted to be in the video because she enjoyed watching the ladybugs scatter and fly around and do what they do. But if you did get any value uh, out of this video or if you just enjoyed the content itself, please give a thumbs up. I truly appreciate that. Other than that, I want everybody to be safe out there and know that you're not alone. This is Gray Man. I'm out. I'll see you guys on the rebound. God bless.